Welcome to ExpertDoc Smart Flows. My name is Eric Bott. Today I'll show you how to create multi language templates. Smart Flows can automatically pick a language variant of a template based on a language field in your CRM. In Control Panel, you can add multiple languages. I've already added Dutch, English, and French. I'll add German to the list too. If you want to have separate templates for the UK and US market, you can add English for the United Kingdom and English for the US separately. If you don't need separate templates for separate countries, I would just stick with the main language, English. You can have one default language. You can also give a language an alias. This way you can connect other CRM values to a language, for instance, Deutsch to German. This is not limited to languages. You can also add regions or countries. If I set Netherlands as an alias of Dutch, a customer in the Netherlands will automatically get a document in Dutch. I'll set an alias for German. We will see how this works in a flow pretty soon. But first, let's create a template. I'm a bit lazy today, so I'm just going to call it MLT, multi language template. This one one template now exists in four variants, one for each language. You can see that when you use the design or the preview option for the template. I will have the same options when I open the template from the add-in. The idea is to design the default language first. You can select the language here. As with any new template, I get the option to start from a blank template, an existing Word document, or from a template. Here, I'll start from a blank template. Okay, now that I have a good looking English template, I will publish it. Then I can open a language variant, say the Dutch version. Again, I can choose what to do with this new template. I can use the English variant of the same template. Just make sure that it was published. This will create the Dutch version for me. It will have all the logic and all the fields of the English version. 
I will just have to do some translation. For some templates, that's obviously more easy than others. Let's not forget to publish our version. Alternatively, we can also open a language variant by using copy from. I'll switch to French. Get the same question. Start with an empty template this time. So here I am in the French version. I can now use the copy from action to replace the contents of this template with the content from another language. Now the French version has been replaced with the English version. You can always check where you are in the menu bar and in the ribbon of the template builder. Again, we'll have some translation to do. Don't forget to publish. And finally, let's do German. There's a lot of template action going on in the background, so let's give it a, a minute till the template is loaded. Eventually, I will have one smart flows template with four language variants. For the one smart flow, uh, for the one smart flows template, I will create one flow and that will use all four language variants. Let's first create the German version. I'll replace that with the English version so that I have all the logic of the English version, but still I am working in the German version. Check in the ribbon. And let's publish. Now that I have published the four language variants, I can go back to my Smart Flows template and create a flow. I can set the language of the document in the flow through the language field. I can connect the language field of the flow with the language field in CRM. If my contact of the potential customer would have a language field, I could use that. Unfortunately, I don't think I have a language field on contact, so I will need to find something else. I can find, for instance, on account, a country field. So I will connect that country field with the language field in my smart flows. I can do that as long as I have set the name of the country as an alias for the language. If the customer is in the Netherlands, Smartflows will see that Netherlands is an alias for Dutch and it will use the Dutch template. Which language is used can be added to the flow output, so we can check that later. 
Now let's see this in action. Let's save the changes, switch to our CRM, select a quote, and run our new flow. And it seems I get a German document, and that is correct. My customer is located in Germany, and Germany has been set as an alias for the German language. Let's see if we can play with this a little bit. If we go into the contact of our quote, we can set the country probably to something else. Let's set the country of our account to France. Return to our code. Run the smart flow again. And this time my document is in French, and that is correct. My customer is located in France, and France had been set as an alien for the French language. So that's it for today. Thank you for watching. You've been a lovely audience. Thank you. Bye bye.